Hey guys, it's got a big one here. Um, I kind of want to do an update of uh, all my tackle. I'll make it as quick as possible because I got a lot of stuff and uh, I don't want to make a really long video. So, um, to start out with, I got some miscellaneous stuff in here. Um, I got a Molex. Uh, it's like a frog crankbait. It's got a lip on it and it's uh, weedless. That coppers, uh, live target frog. Um, I think culprit makes this. It's, it's a, a shed. Then there's a random popper in there. But um, I don't really do much top water uh, fishing. I should, but I don't. Um, next, here's some of my square bills and uh, uh, some of my shallow cranks. Mostly square bills, but I got some KVDs. Most of these on the on the left side are all uh, KVDs, uh, 1.5s. Um, then I got some. Uh, let's see. This is a uh, God, what do you call it? Excalibur uh, square bill. I like Excalibur a lot. Uh, there's a smaller one down there. Um, you've got some bat or not Bagley's, but uh, Bandits. This is their uh, square bill, the bandit square bill. If you guys are looking for a good deal on these, go to uh, um, Cabela's right now. I think they're $1.99, which you cannot beat. And uh, they're usually run between 5 and $6. So go to Cabela's right now, and they got those for $1.99. Uh, KBD 1.5, another bandit square bill. And then I got my uh, DT Fats. Um, uh, the Rapala right here, and then I got one Normid or Norman uh, uh, square bill crankbait. Um, next, got some more crankbaits. These are all mostly uh, DT uh, flats. They're like the flat crankbaits with the coffin bill. Um, I think they're mostly DT sevens. Yeah, seven feet. Um, got some random crankbaits in there. There's most all Rapala right here. Um, now I got some of my jerkbaits, Rapala. Um, these are probably my favorite jerkbaits right now. It looks just like the Mega Bass um, jerkbaits, but it's actually the Rick Klon uh, Lucky Strike um, jerkbaits. They look exactly like them, but the hooks, everyone says you need to change all the hooks. I don't even change all the hooks, and I never lose fish on them. So, I don't have a problem. They bend easily, but then I change the hooks, so I just leave them on there. But uh, I've got a bunch of those. Uh, some more Rapalas. Um, another Rapala. This thing's awesome. It's called the Max Wrap. It's, these are like Japanese. I can't get it, but this, this guy right here is awesome. Um, got it for like $3, usually $13, so... Um, then I got uh, Livingston. I don't know if you guys ever heard of them. They're kind of new. Um, they have really, really good baits. It makes a different sound in the water. I can't really explain it, but it's got a different sound than most uh, jerk baits. And then I got um, some Excalibur jerk baits in there. But um, next, I got my lipless box. I like lipless a lot. I think it's one of my favorite crankbaits fish. So I got a lot of one knockers. The Excalibur one knockers is definitely my by far my favorite um, lipless. Um, and this color too, Foxy Lady. Absolute kill them on this one like I, I fish at. So um, that's my favorite color right now. I change out with triple grips. But I, yeah, I change out most of my uh, lipless with uh, new hooks. Um, especially the one knockers, they come with some pretty cheap hooks. So change those out to either the triple grips or the owner stringer, uh, treble hooks. Those are really, really good too. I got all sorts of colors in there. And then I got some, uh, clack and wraps, the Rapala. Um, yep, that's pretty much it. Mostly one knockers. Uh, let me see. Next, some smaller crankbaits. Um, these, this, this is the Bass Pro Egg. It's a wake bait. For the price, it's a really, really good bait. It's like $3, I think, but these are really, really, really good. Um, I got different colors in those right there. Um, DT4s, Rapala DT4s, all right there. Um, some Bombers. 
Um, and then I got DT6s, Rapala DT6s. And then I got Rapala DT, uh, more DT6s. So I like Rapala, it's probably my favorite crankbait uh, company, as you can see. Um, next, I got some bigger crankbaits. Uh, these are all uh, DT10s and up, so they go 10 feet and up. So I got some DT14s, 16s. Uh, this is the Lucky Strike. Uh, this thing's a monster. It goes it goes up to about, I can get it down to 20, 20 feet. This is their uh, deep diving square bill. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but this thing is awesome. For $7, you cannot beat that. So, um... Then I got some more. I got Bombers, Strike King, and mostly Rapala. Um, let's see. Next, I got another sort, just a uh, random stuff in here. Uh, Robo Shads. Um, this is the Power Team Lures. I can't Hammer Tail or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. But I attach it to the owner. Um, it's a swim bait hook and it has a little uh, um, will leaf blade right here. So this is an awesome setup. So I suggest you guys try this out. This is the owner uh, swim bait hook, and uh, this is the Power Team Lures uh, hammerhead. Correct me if I'm wrong. I can't remember the, the exact name of that. But I got some top water, um, some. Uh, uh, Jackal uh, Clown. Um, I use those for drop shot. They really, they work really well. Um, top water. Some more top water. Spoons. Uh, that's about it for that. Then I got um, some plastics in here. Uh, big bite baits. Um, let's see. Pit Boss. Uh, Reaction Innovations. Kinky Beavers. Um, and I got the, um, the man's, uh, I forget what they call these things. Dang it. I can't remember what it's called, but it's the man's, uh, <clears throat> it's like that big worm they sell. I can't, I think the jelly worm, that's what it is. Those work really well. Um, next, got some random drop shotting baits. I don't know if you guys ever tried this Lunker uh, Lunker Hunt uh, the Bento baits. It's a it's a like a um, a minnow bait you can drop shot with. Works really really well. Some Robo Worms. Uh, the Power Team Lure Finicky Tickler. These are awesome. This is in Watermelon Red Red Flake. These are really really good baits. I suggest you guys try these for drop shot. Uh, let's see. Um, got some, uh, a bunch of stick baits in here. Uh, Bass Pro stick baits. Uh, I love Big Bite Bait. That's probably my favorite, um, plastics company. Uh, and you really can't beat, I mean, they only cost about three, 350 the, uh, stick baits. And that's what I usually use. Uh, Trick Worms. Uh, just mostly, uh, Big Bite Baits and Bass Pro, uh, stick baits in there. Uh, next, I got some booyah jigs on here. These are the baby boo jigs for finesse fishing. I got three of them. Um, and here I got all my creature baits. Havoc, uh, the craw fatties, uh, reaction innovation, uh, kinky beavers. Uh, I got the strike king, three times soft bait, uh, crawdads, tubes, uh, net, pa uh, net bait, pot, uh, baby pocket chunks um man's uh flapping crawls these are all my uh, uh a lot of my creature baits that i i take out with me on the kayak so um lake forks hyper freaks these are really good i think my favorite right now is the grande bass um well not this version but this is the mega claws um it's the god why do they call those things pretty bad it's my favorite one of my favorite uh plastics i can't even remember the name of it well i got more around here somewhere so i'll get back to this 
But uh, these are a lot of my creature baits. Uh, I got some more random plastics in here. Lizards. Uh, zoom lizards. These are awesome. These are the um, Excite Bait um, Raptor Claws. Really, really good bait. It looks like a, um, a kinky beaver, but the bigger one. Here's those uh, hammer tails. What do they call them? This is the Power Team Lures swim baits. Um, got some spinner baits. I these this is about a, this is about as much spinner baits as I have. I really don't spinner bait that much, so or use spinner baits that much. So um, Strike Kings. Uh, God, what are those ones called? I can't remember. Um, Booyah and God, I can't remember the name of the one for the titanium. It'll come back to me. But I got some more random um, plastics. I've got more lizards, tiki sticks, craw fatties. These are really good. Um, this is the uh, DNM Custom Lures uh, Flap and Crawl. Really good flipping bait. This is in the um, PB and J special. Uh, more big bites, trick sticks, um, super flukes. Uh, more uh, these are the um, the raptor tail juniors. More raptor tails. Um, this is the new big bite baits um, real deal crawl. So you guys should check these out too. They're really really good. Uh, you can use them at a trailer or on a jig or something. Some jackal, uh, they don't make these anymore. It's the techie craws. It looks like watermelon magic. Uh, some more of those real deal craws from Big Bite Baits. Uh, baby brush hogs. I got a bunch of random stuff in there. Uh, what else do I got? I got my jig box. I had that in my other video a couple days ago. Um, most of them are dirty jigs. Then I got some boss. Um, um, what do you call them? Uh, punch, punching skirts. Uh, these are awesome. Evolution punching skirts. Uh, yeah, most of all these right here are punching skirts. All my swim jigs, all of them are dirty uh, made by dirty jigs. So, and then here's all my football jigs and flipping jigs and stuff like that. And then some of my trailers I put on them. Uh, next, Rage Tail, um, Recon Worm. It's like a rib tail worm. I haven't ever tried them, but they were on sale, so I got them. Uh, so this is my milk crate I take on my kayak. Um, I try to take all the bait I'm going to take out with me, and I try to fit it in here. So here's all my, here's some of my terminal tackle. Uh, uh, clips, um, wide gaps, shaky heads, um, Tube hooks, drop shot bait, or hooks and weights, uh, bullet weights, uh, Carolina rigs, um, bobber stoppers for punching, swim bait hooks, treble hooks, you know, all the stuff you need when you go out. <laughs> uh, and then I got some more. This is the stuff I usually, I try to fit in here when I um, go out in the, uh, all my plastics in the, this container. Uh, most of the stuff I, I usually take out is right in here. Uh, this is the Rage Tail Horny Toad, or Rage Toad. And the um, Green Pumpkin Chart, or Chartreuse. Uh, these are probably my favorite right now. This is the Magnum Finesse Worm. I use it kind of like a Cinco. I use it, but I, I usually um, Texas rig it. And I've had really good luck with these lately, the June Bug color. Uh, some more Trick Sticks from Big Bite Baits. Uh, Bass Pro uh, stick baits. These are awesome. This is the crawl. Um, what do they call this? Incredi crawl from. Uh, let me put this down for a second. I don't have one open. Um, well, it's the crawl from. It's made by Culprit. They came out this year. It looks like a. Um, you probably seen that picture right there. It's a. a Pretty much like a brush hog, but it's shaped like a crawl. And it's it's a lot fatter, so you can get a um, uh, you can hook it better on on your uh, Texas rig. So uh, tubes, recon worms. These are the Magnum uh, 
trick worms. These work really, really well in shaky head. Um, some more uh, magnum uh, trick worms. Super flukes. Um, this is the gambler flap and tail shad. And then I got some more big bite bait trick sticks. As you can see, that's like my favorite bait, so or plastic. So these are the new. These just came out. Um, the big bite baits, real deal shad. So it's kind of like the rage, uh, rage tail shad, um, but just uh, big bite baits version of it. So it works really, really well. It has a lot of action. So here's just another color, sexy shad. Um, then I got some more tubes. Uh, okay, so here's another one of my favorite uh, flipping baits right now. It's the, the Ugly Otter by uh, Gambler. Really, really good bait. Suggest uh, whoever hasn't tried it, try it. Uh, Strike King Iguanas. These are 10 inches. Uh, they're lizards, and they're super stretchy. So you can probably catch 10 fish a piece on these, maybe even more. Um, kinky beavers, ugly otters, uh, magnum, finesse worms, uh, big bite baits, um, lizards. Here's the rage tail shell cracker. It's just like those uh, big bite baits, uh, real deal sheds. Those work really well. Uh, more Incredicrawls from Culprit. And most of the other stuff I've already showed you guys. But yeah, that's most of my bait. Um, I try to keep it in smaller boxes so I can uh, put them on my kayak. And uh, it's easier to... So I don't have a bunch of stuff in my kayak when I go out fishing. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll be making more videos soon. But uh, I'll see you guys later.